Good morning, UMA. What an honor to see you all here today. How long have we waited, how long have you waited for this moment? To be here surrounded by success? Wow, this is a good morning. Actually, it's a great morning. You may be seated. Good morning, Ultimate Medical Academy. I'm Julian Robinson, Vice Provost of Program and Academic Affairs. If you look around, you will see Ultimate Medical Academy Executive and Advisory Board members, valued employer partners and corporate alliance partners, faculty and staff. You will see UMA students and alumni, as well as family and friends. You will also see a very special row of empty seats in honor of the many graduates who are joining us virtually. To all, we welcome you, especially to our 2016 graduates. We welcome you to your commencement ceremony. Please join me in a warm round of applause as we thank Elsevier, Bookmasters, McGraw-Hill, Pearson Education Group, and the Professional Association of Healthcare Office Management for their sponsoring of today's event. Thank you. We also thank Suncoast Meeting and Events, as well as the UMA Marketing, Education, Career Services, and Learner Services Departments for their months of planning and preparation for this commencement. We thank you. Today we are celebrating the accomplishments of some 6,800 eligible graduates from our Clearwater, Tampa, and online campuses. Here in Tampa, we were planned to be joined by more than 800 graduates, and from our seating this morning, it appears we probably have more than 900 present, a record number in live attendance. And thousands more who are joining us again virtually across the country via the internet. Among our graduates today who, are, who earned a 4.0 GPA, graduating with high honors, they're wearing gold cords. Congratulations, high honor graduates. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. And included among our graduates are those earning a 3.5 GPA or higher, graduating with honors and wearing a silver cord. Congratulations, honor graduates. Please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Our graduates extend far beyond the Tampa Bay area. As far north as Deborah Engler in Minnesota, as far east as Nicole Cabral in Maine, and Hector Morales in New York, and India Abbott from North Carolina in the south, and as far west as Otis Schein and Sarah Jewell in Washington, and even farther west, six time zones away, Tracy Flores from Hawaii. <laughs> Graduates, I ask each of you amidst all the pomp and circumstance of today, to take a few moments to quietly reflect on your journey to this accomplishment. The choices, the sacrifices, the long hours, studying, memorizing, problem solving, the questions, the answers, the frustration, the epiphanies, the relief, the joy, the learning, the grit. Today, honor yourself, thank yourself, congratulate yourself for your positive decisions, perseverance, and commitment to your dreams and the future to build a better today for yourselves, your family, and the patients you will serve throughout your career in healthcare. Today marks the commencement of a new you. Congratulations.
Next, we ask all active duty, retired military and veterans who are here with us today as students, faculty, staff and guests to please stand and be recognized. We thank you for your dedicated service. Now we welcome Sienna Wesley, an academic facilitator, as she sings the national anthem and the University of Tampa Army ROTC for the presentation of colors. All guests, please remain, please rise and remain standing for the invocation following the presentation of colors and the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof Sarlo, Dean of Institutional Effectiveness, and on behalf of the UMA family, I offer the following words that are penned by Mother Teresa. Do it anyway. People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends, and some genuine enemies. Be successful anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you can, and it may never be good enough. Give your best anyway. Thank you. Please be seated. 
On behalf of the Ultimate Medical Academy Board of Directors, Administration, and Faculty, welcome to your commencement day. I am Derek Apinovich, President of Ultimate Medical Academy. It is an exciting time for you and your career in a dynamic, ever-changing, ever-growing healthcare industry. And just like UMA was there for you during school, we will be there for you as an alumni. This day represents your hard work and dedication. It's your time to shine and to celebrate your accomplishments. We are so proud of every graduate in this room and the graduates across the country joining us today via live stream. Your success is the reason we're here today. UMA is devoted to equipping and empowering students to succeed in healthcare careers. We do what we do because of you. You inspire us, and that's why providing full student support is so important to our institution. You've worked hard in your classes. You've studied, taken exams, and collaborated with your classmates. In our community of learning, you've worked with UMA faculty, facilitators, and learner services. Now it's time for you to move forward confidently into your future. This is just the beginning of your relationship with us, and our career services advisors will make sure you don't face the job search alone. They match UMA students with job opportunities and provide career readiness services like resume and cover letter help, mock interviews, and so much more. Our alumni services and alumni association are also here to offer you continued support as you embark on your career. To talk more about these services, I'd like to introduce an inspiring and valued career services advisor, Chad Bagley. Chad works every day with students just like you, so he knows firsthand how dedicated we are to offering career assistance and support to our graduates. Chad will inspire you to give career services a call after you spend this weekend celebrating your success. So I'd like to welcome Chad to the stage and say congratulations, graduates. Chad. Good morning. My name is Chad Bagley. I stand here as an ambassador of the Career Services Department and Ultimate Medical Academy, where I serve as a proponent of our leadership and management team. I've had the opportunity of being a part of a department that not only helps the graduates that it serves every day, but also the career service advisors that help out UMA students on a daily basis. Maybe you have dreams of being a medical building or coder or a medical office administrator. Or perhaps you see yourself working at a pharmacy. Or maybe information systems is your thing and you want to be involved in medical software. With the skills you've obtained at UMA, you are now ready to go out and fulfill those dreams. But in that journey of getting there, there's a common theme. We allow our environment to put limitations on us. Our surroundings can sometimes make us believe that our goals are not achievable. The conversations we have with those we encounter on a daily basis can shape the direction of our lives. And I've come to find in my life that words are powerful. Just think about it. Everything you can touch, taste, see, or hear at one time was only a conversation. And if I had to be honest, that's the part I love most about this job, having an opportunity to have conversations with our graduates. Every conversation is an opportunity to grow, to have a new perspective of someone else's expectations. I approach every conversation with this quote in mind. Always take something from everything. Never leave anything without something. Now that you've crossed the finish line, you still need to stand on the podium and receive your gold medal. And not just your diploma or your associate's degree, but your career.
to prove to those who did or did not support you that it was well worth it. And this is how we're going to do that, by picking up the phone, calling your career services advisor, and having that next important conversation. In the background, you may hear loud cheers that sound something like this. Hey, career services, guess what? Another UMA grad just got the job. We are energetic and enthusiastic about helping you every single day. We spend time on the phone calling employers to support you. The rest of that time is making sure that you are prepped for that golden opportunity. That includes professional dress assistance, resume and cover letters, and help just giving you that confidence to have that Hollywood smile. There are designated teams to help you before the interview and after you get the job. And if you're anything like me, you can only remember so much. So you will have continued access to academic coaching and other resources to ensure your continued success. If you can't tell by now, we have your best interests at heart. We want to help you find that ideal career opportunity. It's not easy, it's not instantaneous, but our pledge is we do it for the grads. We will, we will never give up on you as long as you're committed to the process. I have the privilege of sharing a story how we helped one of your recent alumni do just, just that. Kiana is a hardworking mother of three. I began working with her and found that she was employed as a security guard at a hospital. And for whatever reason, they would not allow her to move into a different department in order to put what she had learned at UMA to work. So I began looking for opportunities for her outside of the hospital. She went on several interviews and did pretty well. But the employers would always say she wasn't paying attention or she just wasn't focused during the interview. So when I spoke to her about this, she informed me that she was hearing impaired and did not want to alarm the employer in fear that it would hurt her chances of actually getting the opportunity. Though I understood this and had great respect for her, I also let her know that it was stopping her from getting the jobs that she really wanted. Once she understood, the next interview she went on, she aced it. And although the employer decided not to backfill the position, Kiana stayed committed to the process. In her life, she continued to be bombarded by obstacles. I was heartbroken when she shared her story with me in detail. But because of her level of commitment to the process, we were able to connect her with assistance when she experienced financial hardship. Throughout all this, she kept a positive mental attitude. We eventually found an opportunity for her working as a pharmacy technician in a local Walmart. I'm proud to say that she is still employed there today in September, 2004, two, September 4th, 2016, she graduated with her associate's degree in medical administration. <laughs> so in closing, I ask each and every one of you, locally and watching via stream, please wake up Monday morning. Give your career services advisor a call so that we can start the process of finding you your idea opportunity. Your vision will become our focal point. Your dreams will spark the fires that will light the future for those who will come after you. I do not stand alone in these efforts. We are a department 300 strong and growing. We are inspired to blaze the trail that will lead you to the path of your success. We are here, we're not going anywhere and we are waiting to hear from you. On behalf of Ultimate Medical Academy and the Career Services Department, we congratulate you on your recent success. And we look forward to celebrating success with you in the future. Thank you. Good morning, UMA. 
My name is Maya Stearns. I'm the Director of Education for Clearwater Campus. It is my special honor and privilege to introduce to you one of my dental assistant program graduates with the highest academic honors, but she is not just a graduate. She's already a member of Pinellas County professional environment. She is the Chamber of Commerce honorary volunteer, UMA student ambassador, student member of Florida Dental Association, and Clearwater Campus student speaker, Ms. Maritza Villanova. Good morning. Congratulations, fellow UMA graduates. My name is Maritza Villanueva, and today I achieved something I wasn't sure would be possible. Completing the UMA Clearwater Dental Assistant Program marks the end of a new journey. When I started high school, I wanted more than anything to be popular, that cool chicken school. As a, as a result, I made poor choices. The friends I thought I had were not my friends. I remember the words of my parents as it was yesterday. Maritza, those aren't your friends, they said. You will be the one to make your bed easy or hard by the choices that you make. I should have listened to my parents. The bad choices I made had me quitting school in the eighth grade. I soon learned that it wouldn't be easy to get by in the competitive world without a high school degree. So after nine challenging years out of school, I went back to get my GED. Without further studying, I passed. What a wonderful accomplishment. But from there, I still did nothing to further my education or to better my life. I went from low paying job to low paying job and often had to work two jobs to make ends meet. I worked days, nights, weekends, and holidays and only had Sundays to spend with the family. As a 39 year old wife and mother of seven children, three by birth and four by marriage, ages 22, 20, 18, 9, 9, 7, and 2. Working sure took its toll. Something had to give, and this is when I decided to go back to school. I wanted a career that would allow for a normal schedule and time with the family. So this is when I decided to sign up at UMA as a general assistant and set goals. Go DA. <laughs> this time I would make good goals. My commitment was, my commitment was solid. Now I was doing the right things. For example, before school one morning, I had gone into a car accident and still managed to show up to school. That wasn't like me of years ago. And unlike the past, I completed my UMA program with perfect attendance, high honors, and received full-time employment at the Florida Dental Center after completing 240 free hours. So for many years after my high school days, there is something cool about me standing here in front of you today. One, I made the right friends. Two, I did the right things. Now I feel like that popular person I always wanted to be. I'm graduating with honors and starting with a promising new beginning. There were many that doubted me. For you, I thank you as much as those that supported me. First and foremost, thank you to God for guiding me. Thank you to my children, my husband, faculty and staff for believing in me. It's been an honor. Good morning, UMA. My name is My 
My name is Althea Wynn, and I am the Director of Education for the Tampa Ground Campus. Woo! Yes. I'm excited to stand before you to present our student speaker, speaker Miguel Beretta. One interesting, an interesting thing about this particular student, PCT, he was doing his internship experience at a local um, nursing home and there was a senior resident that was very frail and we were having a really bad storm. Well, Miguel observed this, this uh, patient and the patient was about to fall but she thought she was okay. Miguel continued to watch this particular patient and he went to her before she fell in the middle of this rainstorm. So his instructor contacted us and told us so many accolades that he was doing during his externship experience. And I want you to know that we are very proud to have him be our Tampa ground speaker. And at this time, I ask him to come forward. Oof. It's a lot of people, you guys. All right, good morning. My name is Miguel Angel Ramirez Barreto, and I am a graduate of the UMA Tampa campus patient care tech program. I would like to thank you for the honor of addressing faculty, family, and UMA graduates of, on this day of recognition. I was born in Puerto Rico and raised in Jersey. This explains my looks, yet voracious attitude at times. <laughs> Here's a little bit about myself. Portugal won the European Cup, and the Cleveland Cavaliers won the NBA championship for the first time in franchise history. This lets you know that I love sports. I learned a lot about people and working together while playing various sports. It is Ultimate Medical Academy who has taught me how being a member of a team can not only impact my life, but the life of others as well. I know how to use my patient care tech skills and knowledge to be a strong player on an overall team caring for a patient. Along with all the technical and medical knowledge, I learned a lot about indirect care. This is the compassion and integrity any team player needs to really impact the patient's overall experience and rehabilitation. In my UMA ex externship at Bay Care's John Knox Village, I had the pleasure to interact with this wonderful senior lady. I had many daily tasks for her, including dressing her as she liked. One thing extra that she always reminded me to remember was that she had clean dentures. I learned how to clean dentures and made sure they were spotless until her passing. We all deserve to receive medical care but also to feel as normal and content as possible. As I continue with a job at John Knox, I look forward to using both my direct and indirect skills on many more patients. From my fellow UMA students, I also learned about the dreams and ambitions of others and about the hardships some would need to overcome to finish their UMA programs. Each of us had our obstacles, and many of us know that we would not be at this commencement without the support of the UMA team of faculty and advisors. I would like to thank y'all. There are not many academic institutions without the understanding that there can be interruptions with going, with, while going to school. This includes life events like having to find a new place to live, needing to work around a school schedule to keep a job, caring for ill parents, or staying at home to care for your children. I thank UMA for understanding and being the ultimate life coach. It can take a team to help you step towards success. Look at me, I'm young. How many times do you think I've tried? So many, my friends, so many. So let's, so this day, let's celebrate us. We now know that it is always possible to achieve. We will never stop, and it is all due to us taking not the first step, 
but the second step and the, se and the steps that follow. I would like to give a special thanks to my family, friends, U and UMA for helping me take that first step. Thank you, guys. Good morning, UMA graduates. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Good morning, UMA graduates. All right. My name is Richard Brown. I'm one of the associate deans for UMA in the online programs. To I would like to say congratulations. I, I am so proud of each and every one of you. You have come so far and you have dedicated yourself to the medical field. And I myself have been in the medical field for 14 years and I appreciate that dedication. I stand before you to introduce the UMA online speaker, graduating with honors, Dominique Bermudez. My name is Dominique Bermudez. Today, I proudly represent the UMA Online Healthcare Management Associate Program. It is an honor for me to be a part of one of the first UMA graduating with healthcare management. It is also a proud moment for my family. I'm the first to graduate of my siblings with a secondary degree. You know, there's a time when you realize in life, things don't have to be this way. It can be better. My grandparents and my great-grandparents certainly felt the same way many years ago when they moved from Cuba and Italy to the promises of America. They worked hard, and my parents worked hard, with the belief that life could be better for me and my three siblings. I set out as a trailblazer in school. My senior year in high school, I was on a path of reaching educational goals that my family envisioned. But something very significant happened. I became pregnant with my daughter. <laughs> Although most said I couldn't do it, I did graduate high school. My baby daughter was now the guiding decisions of my life. The focus was no longer on furthering my education. I needed to work, and I worked long hours to provide for my family, and I missed many holidays and family events. Everyone would ask how I did it, but it was not a matter of how. As a mother, that's what I needed to do for my daughter. Life did not get better just yet. Years later, I was a single mother of two, and we were in a very troubled home life. We experienced things that I never imagined. During this time, I started the UMA Healthcare Management Associate Program as a step towards a renewed life. My daughter, suffered the most from our living situation with unimaginable circumstances. In the fifth grade, she was doing badly in school. I knew that I needed to be there for her. So again, I would set aside school and the goals of finishing my UMA associate program. 
When I approached my daughter with my plans, I was taken back by her reaction. She said I could not quit. She had seen my six UMA Dean's List certificates hanging on the wall. These were a beacon of hope to her. These represented what was possible. At that moment, we both realized we could no longer be victims of our circumstances. I couldn't give up, so she wouldn't give up. Despite the odds, we both persevered. As she completed the fifth grade with her class, I completed my UMA Associates program. She just moved on to the sixth grade, and after spending many years on my original journey with my daughter, I now look forward to continuing my education to become a physician assistant. I want to thank my family, my friends, UMA, for all the support and the start of my journey. How strong you stand in your journey can be due to what your journey means to others. My daughter inspired this for me and my family. Together, we made it better. Thank you. Good morning, graduates. My name is Amanda Smith, and I'm the Vice Provost of Curriculum and Academic Services. It is such an honor to be here with you today. I know that I speak on behalf of the many, your program directors, your instructors, your facilitators, your advisors, your friends, and your family, when I say that we are so proud of you. But it hasn't been easy, has it? You had to overcome a thing or two, didn't you? Raise your hand if you were someone who had to overcome a thing or two to be here today. In the midst of your studies, your coursework, and your homework, in the background of clinical exams, certification preparation, externships, were trials and tribulations that posed what could have been perceived as real barriers to your future and your dreams. While raising children, juggling two jobs, working night shifts and weekends, you held tightly to your dreams, your vision, your promise to yourself that you would finish what you started. You knew in your heart that to do so meant that you had to keep on keeping on. You had to persevere. You had to persist. You had to believe and you had to overcome. And you made it. It took something very special, something each of you here have, and something that a man named Marcus Engel has as well. Marcus Engel, too, has lived a story of resilience in the face of the unimaginable. He has an unforgettable message, which for him is not based in theory or academics, but in a reality that taught him that the journey isn't always pretty, and it isn't meant to be easy, but it will shape you, as all adversity does, into believing in the power of yourself, your choices, and the ability to see, not only with your eyes, but with your heart. Marcus's story speaks deeply profoundly, in fact, to many, but in particular, what he has to share today will resonate with you, you who are going into the caring field of allied healthcare. 
His keynote presentation, The Other End of the Stethoscope, has been witnessed by tens of thousands, and his books are used in scores of nursing schools. Impassioned to remind all of us that it's essential to embrace the challenges of today while taking responsibility for changing the things that we can, Marcus's message inspires all of us to maximize your potential and to never take for granted the opportunity to live every day to the fullest. Please join me in welcoming Marcus Engel. Sorry about that. Can I hit this table here? Hi, good morning. How y'all doing? You graduates better be doing really good. All right. So uh, I don't know how many of y'all can see my partner in crime here. This is Garrett. Thank you, I love the big awe. Uh, Garrett is my C&I dog. He and I have been together for about six years now. And uh, like I said, Garrett's my C&I dog. So uh, obviously I have a few things that are a little different about me today. And when it was time for my first graduation ceremony from high school, I sat in an auditorium very similar to this, thinking that I had my entire life ahead of me. However, that was not exactly to be. Because just six weeks into my freshman year of college, a little something happened that changed me from a typical 18-year-old all-American college freshman into a little more the person you see in front of you today. When I was on my first weekend home from college, I hooked up with three friends that I had made at church camp. And on a Saturday night, after going to a St. Louis Blues hockey game, my friends and I were going home and got struck broadside by another car. I wish I could tell you that I remember all of the details of that crash. However, the details have thankfully been erased from my mind. When I turned and looked out that window as we pulled into an intersection, I saw a pair of headlights about that far from my face. And that quick, those lights went out. I will spare you the details of what I can remember from laying in the intersection when I came to feeling all of the bones in my face crushed. And let's just suffice it to say that I can tell you what a mixture of blood and gasoline tastes like. And I can remember laying there in the intersection, face down in the concrete, thinking that I was going to die. It's not a pleasant thought. And luckily and obviously, that did not happen. The paramedics got to the scene, scooped me up, rushed me to the closest level one trauma center, which was at Barnes Jewish Hospital in St. Louis. And they pulled me into the emergency room where the trauma team immediately went to work on me. My memories of being in the emergency room that night are pretty sketchy. But the one very, very strong memory I have was that any time I would come to consciousness, I would enter a world that was filled with pain and terror and darkness. And in that world of pain and terror and darkness, the only thing that gave me any comfort was the fact that somebody was holding my right hand. And I could tell that this hand that held mine belonged to a female. And any time I would stir just a little bit, that hand would squeeze mine and I would squeeze that hand back in recognition. And then the owner of that hand would say the same things over and over throughout the night. She would say, Marcus, my name is Jennifer. You were in a car accident. You're in the hospital. Bare bones information, right? That's all I could take. But then Jennifer would consistently repeat the two most compassionate words I think that any human being can say to another. Throughout that night, as she held my hand, she just kept whispering over and over, I'm here, I'm here, Marcus, I'm here. I didn't even know where here was, but I knew that in this world that had been turned inside out, upside down, and bludgeoned, I knew that I was not alone. I think we can all relate to this idea, but I'll spell it out specifically. 
Simple human presence is the cornerstone of caregiving, correct? But I take that a step further. I say that simple human presence is the very foundation of our humanity. When you as a human being can recognize suffering and vulnerability and pain in another person and be present for that person and empathetic, that is essentially what separate we humans from everyone else in the animal kingdom, is that gift of simple human presence. So the question has to become then, who is Jennifer? And that's a bit of a difficult question to answer because for 20 years, I knew nothing of Jennifer. Never knew her last name, never knew her position in the emergency room. I knew nothing about this individual who stayed with me on what was the very worst night of my life. So let me take it back in time about three years ago. I was invited to keynote for the very institution that saved my life, for the facility called Barnes Jewish Hospital there in St. Louis. This is a very large facility, 1,300 licensed beds, well over 10,000 employees. And they couldn't get everybody into one room for a speech, so they ended up booking me to speak five times a day, five days in a row. I'm not even gonna lie, by the end of that, I was tired. <laughs> But on the second day of being there, I got a little renewed energy when after I got done giving a presentation and the patient experience director of the hospital came up to the stage and said some words that I will never forget. She said, Marcus, we've got a surprise for you. We found Jennifer. And for the first time in two decades, I finally got to hold her hands again and say thank you. It was absolutely one of the most magical moments of my life. And as you can probably imagine, I had a million questions for Jennifer, and my first question was, well, who were you back then? Jennifer said, well, at the time, I was a 20-year-old patient care tech working here in the emergency room. And as a 20-year-old patient care tech, Jennifer didn't have time to have years and years of experience under her belt. She didn't have time to go through years of higher education. She didn't have a whole alphabet soup after her name. She just knew human being to human being, what I needed more than anything was simple human presence. Presence is the greatest gift we can give to another human being. The best part of this story wasn't just being reintroduced to Jennifer, but the best part of this story was the fact that my wife was there, got a two minute heads up that this was going to be happening, and that gave her just enough time to whip out her trusty iPhone, and she was able to catch to our reunion on video. And if you want to see that video, you can go to imheremovement.org, imheremovement.org, and if you can make it through the Marcus Meets Jenny video without crying, you are a stronger person than I am. <laughs> what I learned soon after, what I learned soon after that first night with Jennifer was not only that I had been struck blind immediately, totally, and permanently, but I also learned that I had received what is called a Lefort III fracture which means that every bone from my hairline through my chin had been shattered. What I learned quickly was that I was going to be facing hundreds of hours of reconstructive facial surgery. That was the beginning. The middle part of the story came after my first facial reconstruction, 25 hour long surgery, and the first person I met post-op was a nurse named Barb. And in three minutes, Barb became one of the greatest people I had ever met. I very much understand that in this world of healthcare, we're pressed for time. Those of you who have done externships, those of you who have worked in medical environments, you know that there is one thing that is scarce in healthcare, and that is enough time. But just by Barb coming into the room, 
She introduced herself, she shook my hand as if there was nothing wrong with me, and she said, Marcus, my name is Barb, I'm a nurse here in the ICU, and I get to take care of you for the next eight hours. Did you catch that word? I get to take care of you. Graduates, you get to do this work of healthcare. You get to be the Jennifer for some other people who are suffering. You get to do this sacred work of caregiving. And you may ask the question, well, Marcus, what do you mean by sacred work? Is there anything more sacred in this world than taking care of the ill and the injured and the dying? I don't think so. Friends, you get to do this work. And I hope you can remember, number one, that the greatest gift we can give another human being is our presence. I hope you will always remember that we get to do this work. And I hope on those days when your coworkers are a pain, and maybe your kids are a pain, and maybe your spouse is a pain, on those days that you really don't feel like going into work, I hope you will remember we get to do this sacred work. Now graduates, I gotta tell you. After hearing our first three student speakers this morning, I'm not even sure I should be at this microphone because those three individuals voiced their adversity and their story. And guess what? There are 900 stories sitting in this audience today of the things that you have overcome, the incredible adversity and obstacles that life has thrown at you, and guess what? You beat it. You beat it. And for the commitment that you have shown to your education, for the dedication that you have shown by spending those hours and hours studying, for the absence that you have had to take time away from your family to be sure that you can accomplish this goal of your academic pursuits, I hope you'll take a little time to pat yourselves on the back because that is an awesome accomplishment. And for you graduates who have chosen to go into this sacred field of caregiving, please know that you have my congratulations and my thanks because it is people just like you who are the reason that people like me are alive today. Graduates, thank you guys so much. Families, thank you for taking care of your graduates. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Daylene Cosby, and I'm Senior Manager of Academic Affairs for UMA Online. And I am here to... <laughs> here to present you, to all of you, as our graduates for 2016. Associates of Health Science, excuse me, Health and Human Services is our first group.
Maritza Velanuva. Miguel Ramirez Barito. Dominique Bermudez. <laughs> Tiffany Derrick. <clears throat> Tanjanika Durant. Let's go in the middle. Lakeisha Wynn. Deborah Harland. Malika Thompson. Shante Williams. Anae Hobson. Sabrina Reed. Christina Durham. Duena Collins. Kathleen Giles. Tasha Johnson. Sophia Lett. Robert Powell. Polly Glover Lorenz. Stephanie Hunt. Justine Wright. Stephanie Flores, Antonia Davidson, Laquita Gilbert, Kawana. Kawana Holiday, Amanda Wilson, Ginger Bradshaw, Crystal Dupree, India Lawrence, Ashley Simpson. I'm Satara, sorry, Ashley Smith. Sorry. Sorry. Satara Anderson. Kanishia James. Christina Conroy. Dora Plunkett. Tanisha Peterson. Christina Rosario. Nina Williams, Nicole Bender, Vanessa Henry, Chelsea Kempisti, Kempisti? Karen Minchin, <laughs> Tammy Johnson, Michelle Dannenberger, Brittany Womble, Michelle Hillard. Latoya Duhart. Anita Rosario. Denise Sussman. Adriana Pratt. Okay. Jessica Nunez. Michelle Maestas. Carice Neal. Beth Garay. Shantoria Jones. Arinda Harris. Joyce Davis. Brianna Person. Diamond Henry. Abigail Vasquez. Crystal McNeil. Lori Dingy. Kamika Hill. <laughs> Rosemary Castellano. Courtney Neal. Adria Taylor. Kelly Thompson. Kathleen Wilson. Nicolette Leslie. Veronica Anthony. Demetric Adams. Peyton Atkins. Kimberly Welch. Kimberly Nelson. Sh Shelby Kinsley. Sophia Locke. Roseanne Tolentino. Diane Leroy. Makesia Grady. Shequana Phillips. 
Keishla Cruz. Daphne Griffin. Natasha Huggins. Adrol Taylor. Brianna Martin. Ashley Jones. Christina Banks. Doris McNon. Doris McNon. Tanya Wallace. Adriana. Adriana. Jermaine Quimbley. Adriana. Adriana Ewing. Konisha Clark. Jeanette Roberts. Cara Padilla. Shanika Crawford. Kimberly Lawler. Montika Brown. Dana King. Audra Clark. Michelle Crockett. DeAndrea Davis. Sheila Clay. Renee Scott. Jamal Pugh. Amanda Shepard. Christy Cecilla. Catisse Harper. Heaven Krieger. Nina Lausanne. Sharnetta Krim. Rochelle Monell. Maritza Pabon. Monet Robinson. Tiara Wallace. <clears throat> Ronald Thompson, Sierra Walker, Leslie Sr., Michael Sanders, Lavonda Williams, Shayla Dawkins, Tiffany Spann, Reva Hicks, Katrina Wilson, Cynthia Simon, Casey McQuarrie, Janet Fuss, Nicole Noah, Tracy Miller, Tantranesia Griffin, Ashley Nix, Uniqua Anderson, Tammy Van Doren, Cornique Maxwell, Victoria Garman, Oceana Tippett, <laughs> Rosie Robinson, Cheryl Chambliss, Jennifer Hook, Rachelton, Rachelton Bird, Rachelton Bird, Darius Ivy, Jacqueline Kraft, Tantanisha Cuffey, Lisa Johnson, Jordan McIntyre, Cynthia Smith. Joyce Flowers, Caitlin Goins, Lorna Griffin, Aaron Hodge, second, Acacia Randolph, Heather Rogers, Sophia Gellibert, Natalie, oh, I'm sorry, Jessica Soto, Natalie Rossiter. Linda Bradley, Shonda Jones, Ebony Brown, Jasmine Lindsay, Stacy Burton, Emily Holcomb, <laughs> Lakeisha Good, Charmaze White, <laughs> Tiffany Denson, Aja, Aja Hall, Kanisha Bennett, Karima. Freeman, Pamela Hall, Marsha Thomas, Diane Boop, Tammy Belzer, Angela Bryant, McQuana McBride, Tabitha Adams, Ginger McNair, Rebecca Boyce, Vernell Charles. Elizabeth Perez, Maya Collins, Jer Jerica Gonzalez, Felicia Hogans, Norman Thompson, Andrew Forpa, <laughs> Norman Johnson, Rotundi 
Downer. Alexandra Kelsell. Julia Kelly. Catherine Zobel. Beverly Hinton. Jasmine Thomas. Lori Body. Amandalyn Kulaski. Dewey Conway. Loretha Jefferson. Eleanor Belcher. Diane Lazar. Alisara Colon. Jacqueline Adams. Linda Walker. Lori Sims. Raquel Valdez. David Nutt. Stephanie Hanna. John Clifford. Michelle Hudson. Anthony Lowry. Shelley Wood. Shannon Refuse. Samantha Stowell. Alyssa Villarreal. Sarah Schiffbauer. Andrea Motes. Rebecca Lake. Jerry Alexander. Monica Carter. Lucille Torres. Elise Brown. Jessica A. Scott. Stephanie Marrero. Ashley Postel. Kendra Williams. Kevalise Perez. Crystal Harris. Renisha Owens. Luana Chandler Burks. Vir Virginia Marchito. Kathy Arnold. Brittany Williams. Boston. Jermina Faustin. Emily Crew. <laughs> Sierra Doggett. Mario Dominici. Fatacia Perry. Amanda Walsh. Misty Morose. Thomas Southern. Okay. Kisa Sanders. Nicole Brinick. Teresa Jenkins. Denise Sanchez. Lisa Strickland Smith. Ebony Woods. Tina Priest. Rose Derese De Leon. Heather Tao. Deidre Smith. Jacqueline Dominguez. Wendy Johnson. Jacqueline Moore. Alejandro De Cruz. Danielle Stockdale. Tony Moberg. Linda Lee. Carolina Rojas Choi. Este Rosado Rivera. Angie Warber Conajo. Lindra Londrigan. Tomas Garcia. Kimberly Zaleski. Tammy Turner. Nancy Lynch. Mackenzie Park. Janice Wilson. Kayla Fortunata. Alyssa Amaral. Valerie Ruiz Arce. Churi Shaw. Kevin Ruiz RC. Sharon Harrison. <coughs> Jacqueline Wright. Devon Hudson. Ricardo Griffin. Jaquella King. Jennifer Fowler. Ajane Donar. Jerome Link. Tamika Starling. Nicole Sneed. Marsha Martin. Pierre Henri. Amber Moore. Ornelkus Garcia. Jennifer Curiel. Paola Hanna. 
Karen Chavez Tellez. Alyssa Hopping. Cheyenne Ringer. Olivia Booth. Carla Costa. Vanessa Xavier. Michaela Fisher. Rebecca Rowland. Atisha Vala. Lawanda O'Neill. Carla Espirito. Rakisha Solomon. Nicole Bargani. Samane Hemingway. Carolina Glustek. Miranda Williams. Kirsten Smith. Jacqueline Cobbs. Amy Fitzgerald. Joanna Wilcox. Brittany Allen. Charisse, Charisse McCutcheon. Demisha Jenkins. Halima Khalifa. Yolanda Fisher. Shalanda Holmes. Ashley Brown. Katharina Diaz. Bianca McNeil. Shante Smith. Talaria Johnson. Mary Brady. Nadia Jefferson. Rhonda Gozier. Valentina Martinez Orozco. Cheryl Kearns. Amanda Rosa. Keisha King. Shione Smith. Jessica Mitchell. Marilyn Falk. Myra Langford. Cicely Graham. Irene Pollock. Leticia Walters. Brenda Robinson. Jessica Carson. LaDonna Virgie. Garman. Virgie Covington. Egula Bustos. Eva Cody. Anisha Landrum. Jamisha Kelly. Sandy Williams. Dontasia Johnson. Monique Thomas. Makiria Jordan. Queen Conyers. Lakitria McGriff. Panache Lowry. Wandalyn Pittman. Sheena Burkett. Brittany Bacon. Jamie Tossi. June Smithy. Christine, Kristen Hills. Shirley Rodriguez. Lakina Fultz. Guadarama? Guadarama. Marinia Eb Guatemala. Ebony Reckley. Maria Guadarama. Trevia Turner. Emma Torres. Latasha Hall. Soleil Cruz. Casey Ann Craig. Karen Ketavong. Alexandria Crawford. Kenesia Brown. Emily Barlow. Jeremy Colbreth. Amber Byers. Jasmine Fryson. Amber Walton. Amara Butler. Lanius Acosta. Dara Vasquez. Maisha Capers. Kiara Bridgman. China Natalie. Troy. Natalie Addy. Billy Rogers. Catherine Castro. Tawana Douse. Jolene Shaw. Beatrice Simmons. Sahili Torres. Crystal Clink. Denisha Wichard. Tanisha Young. Lazaria Newton. 
Jennifer Nation. Leanne Buckman. Shalandra Vinson. Shantavis Brown. Jamira Masonette. Amanda Hernandez. Lysandra Matias. Marissa Kinluck Aiken. Teresa Hazard. Celeria Davis. Shavonda Clark. Jennifer McCaskill. Geneva Richards. Jantelia Malloy. Jasmine Scott. Jasmine Barrett. Kiana Matthews. Adriana Gordon. Tanya Robinson. Nathan Klingenpeel. Rachel Woolridge. Sierra Mutz. Cynthia Bivens. Angel Shufford. Amber Coyle. Shamika Edwards. Stevie Buckaloo. Kimball Harmon. Claude Davis. Amanda Smith. Taiba Terrell. Virginia Lewis. <laughs> Valerie Pryor. Kristen Lino. Sharon Bullock. Morgan Austin. Bridget Fields. Shawnee Sanders. Shaniqua Holmes. Felicia Parker. Shalithia Coxum. Charlene Coney. Taisha Cochran. Tarangela Smith. Lena Dow. Chelsea Frank. Leanne Belcher. Belinda Walker. Michelle Appy. Alaytra McKinley. Chelsea Lyons. Huey Vu. Michael Lewis. Mariah Jackson. Monticia Henry. Shaquita Rozier. Lori Long. Jennifer Hawthorne. Hope Bell. Tirana Rebuchet. Jennifer Wooters. Shannon Pickens. Ambria Williams. Takara Gore. Jessica Smith. Mildred Townsend. Kevin Maldonado. Sandra Islam. Trelenda Hart. Dominique Martin. Carissa Underwood. Adriana Cordovi. Candace Clark. Erica Blue. Ashley Kinnifer. Alexis Alban. Faith Lissette, Go ahead. Lissette Torres. Faith Morgan Gambrell. Ided Lopez. Deanna. Deanna Cooper. Elizabeth Fuentes. Kimberly Brown. Robin Garrett. Patricia Holland. Jalicia Harper. Lynette Martinez. Ronisha Scott. Shankara. Shankara Duffy. Victor Harris. Tanya Eubanks. Jack Williamson. Okay, Melissa Hatfield. Alexis Forte. Chastity Bean.
Kendra Taylor. Desre Portovin. Teresa Morris. Tanavia Gathers. Tierra Branch. Uladies Estrada. Maggie Foster. Darian Burt. Shanice Daniel. Felicia Walker. Shamanicia Thompson. Carrie Mora. Jessica Heath. Krista Jones. Elsa Marta. Tyna Thompson. Diana Diaz. Danico Mack. Taylor Powell. Carolyn Sloan. Roma Ajay. Gary Antle. <laughs> Crystal Ball. Lizmeldi Ramirez. Isamar Mendoza. Katrina Michael. Quinchelle Howard. Daniela Torres. Ashley Lightfoot. Nashalise Rivera. Melissa Schreffer Nelson. Mariah Franco. Kimberly Leggett. Jontel Wilson. Okay, Gigi. Kanisha Runnels. John Young. Erica Nesbitt. Michelle Brown. Lashea Tucker. Mariah Harrison. Mariah Pirtle. Lamos. Lamos. Jocelyn Sims. Loanza Llanos. Ashley Watson. Venus Dennis. Shadana Reynolds Lattimore. Jasmine LeBron. Brandy Puckett. Izzy Pena. Colleen Riddick. Tanisha McCoy. Malaysia Richmond. Lanice Williams. Mary McGuire. Antonika St. Louis. Quinicia Brooks. Serena Sherman. Valicia Wally. Jamicia White. Priscilla Dorsey. Roshanda Smith. Jaylene Santiago. Bridget Young. Toshiba Anderson. Alicia Powers. <laughs> Leslie Brooks. Derek Pearson. Shantiria Taylor. Bertha Dominguez. Janisha Ewings. Jasmine Marlene Ridley. Marlene Moxley. Noelle Heisen. Shamika Gable. Megan Volgares. Bobette and Rietta. Dixon. Brandy Morse. Brian Graham. Desire Kendra Jimenez. Kendra Bailey. Whitney Jones. 
Crystal Allen. Antoinette Walt. Kendra Wynn. Imari Silver. Cabricia Manugo. Wanda Letson. Alexis Palmore. Keandra Lang. Saint Louis or Saint Louis? Karen Sundstrom. Midlene Saint Louis. Tammy Smith. Linda Swinson. Charmaine Mitchell. Annette Dahl. Vicki Williams. William Gilmore. Ania Rodriguez. Lula Phillips. America Peltier. Zandra Holloway. Zena Royas. Michaela Martinez. Dina Figuera. Ajene Green. Ivanka Stewart. Brenda Scott. Ashley Matthews. Yasmin Vasquez. Carrie McMillan. Michelle De Jesus. Betty Glover Carr. Alexis Cummings. Michelle Ong. Summer Bell. Lucero Frias. Karnisha Womack. Angela Lawless. Michelle Gaines. Michelle Olivero. Jontasia Bacon. Marquita Hunt. Jeanette Young. Maria Moland. Samantha Starr. Catherine Mueller. Brandeis Hill. Kimberly Eason. Angela Natalie. Rachel Harrington. Sarah Sirini. Carrie Strodel. Jalissa Gonzalez. Natasha Caston. Vanessa Floyd. Green. Charnel Fisher Green Elgin. The color, right? okay. JC Green. Rita Albach. Denitra Washington. Chastity Williams. De Leon. Misty DeLeon. Moesha Davis. Julaine Sheets. Angela Sheffield. Dolores McFoley. Yaritza Vieira. Crystal Morton. Michael Harbin. Jamira Paban Lopez. Isabel Laraquente. Candice Jackson. <laughs> Jessica Enchaudi. Enchategi. Sarah Eric. Giselle Butler. Christine Hess. Tamara Fryer. Destiny Harrell. Brittany Valderrama. Andrea Long. Joycelyn Diaz. Sean Wilson. Alan Dunn. 
Yolanda Mitchell. Artis Tomlinson. Melissa Johnson. Patricia Reed. Johnice Armstrong. Jelena Gibson. Shauna <laughs> Jones. Elizabeth Murphy. Andrea Smith. Carol Fillior. Jeannie Green. Marjorie Bloxon. Sarah Taylor. Paola Sanchez Gonzalez. Alexis McWhite. Tamara Brundage. Felicia Walker. Nancy Guthier. Jessica Sullivan. Mary Vasquez. Angelica White. Shonda Landry. Mary Becerra. Stacy Smith. And Jeanette Bell. Tynesha Averett. Christina Brown. Audrea Hayes. Camilla Flowers. Carlin Davenport. Heather Cheo. Jessica Begrin. Dequela Norwood. Jamie Godenis. Orthea Stone. Joyce Cook. Chantra. Abigail Chantra. Deborah Dever. Ashanti Barton. Lakeisha Jackson. Delta Rhodes. Molly Harper. Gail Sebring. Alicia Rodriguez. Kimberly Jones. River Carter. Brittany Cotrer. Allison Jones, Tammy Rogers, Deatra Hines, Deborah Hayward, Lillian Williams, Conwanda Williams, Misty Kirby, Carolyn Walker, April Starkey, Christina Washington. Jennifer Owan, Catherine Sleep, Erin Marion, Crystal Johnson, Justine Cosman, Kashoya Rahimi, Daisy Hoffman, Tammy Erickson, Shiv Cheetah. Tanya Martin, <clears throat> Charles Hamilton, Sarah Edwards, Carol Love, <clears throat> Latasia Lee, Georgina Jackson, Stephanie Verlis. Nicole Hansen, Jennifer McCarty, Marlene Fry, Sumeri Rodriguez, Sanja West, Kendra Mar Martino, Maria Ganend, Brittany Thomas. Ashley Armstrong, Jacqueline Powell, Annie Gaskin, Diana Soldani, Lashina Collins, Alicia Dyer, <laughs> Satanya Baptiste Beau, Beverly Paul. Paige Napper, Teresa Williams, <clears throat> Kat, Rosaria. 
Kevin Williams, Nashalie Rosera Russo, Ernesta Lewis, Kirsten Hardy, <laughs> Hugh Stanford, Valerie Palmer, Heather Heflin, Courtney Sampson. Jessica Pauly, Cassandra Pauly, Karen Queen, Quanisha McCullough, Leticia Arandondo, Shauna Mayberry. and Sammy Lucas. Stuff. I'm Jenny Roberts. I'm the program director for the medical assistant program at Tampa Ground. If the graduates could please stand and turn to page two of your program, we're going to do the health care pledge. Repeat after me, please. I solemnly pledge myself. I solemnly pledge myself to practice faithfully to practice faithfully all of my duties as a member of the professional health care team. All of my duties as a member of the professional health care team. I hold the care of the sick. I hold the care of the sick and injured and injured to be a privilege and a sacred trust. To be a privilege and a sacred trust. I will assist the physician. I will assist the physician with loyalty and honesty. With loyalty and honesty. I will hold all personal matters. I will hold all personal matters pertaining to the private lives of patients. Pertaining to the private lives of patients in strict confidence. In strict confidence. I dedicate my heart. I dedicate my heart. Mind and strength. Mind and strength to the work before me to the work before me i shall do all within my power i shall do all within my power to show in myself to show in myself an example of all that is honorable and good an example of the all that is honorable and good throughout my medical career throughout my medical career congratulations you. you may be seated I'm going to have everyone stand up once again <laughs> for the moment that you've all been waiting for. It is with great pleasure to honor and humbling to share this experience with you in this moment. So now, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida and the Commission for Independent Education, I now pronounce you graduates of Ultimate Medical Academy. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, UMA class of 2016.